considering the state that I'm from. Um, I might move on then. I have just a few questions about the borough again. And um, again, I'm asking these on behalf of Senator Ludlam, so just bear with me because I don't have the context that he's got about these issues. Um, but I'm aware that there's been apparently industrial emissions that are, well, apparently threatening the borough, but apparently the emissions in the area are so substantial that the bomb's radar have picked them up as rainfall on clear days. Can you just talk me through, is that, is that accurate and can you give me a bit of context around that? Look, um, uh, we're not familiar with the circumstances of that particular case, but it, it isn't uncommon for radars to pick up all kinds of uh, um, pollutants in the air. Um, uh, pollution from bushfires, for instance. Uh, I think we even pick up things from military exercises every now and again. So it's conceivable that we could have picked up something here, but I'm not familiar with those case, okay. that, that particular case. So it's detected and it's recorded as rain. Is that is that what happened? Well, no, not not really. No, it's um, it's a it's to be uh, specific. It's detected as as a ref, as something that the radar beam has reflected off. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily mm -hmm. rain. So we get a lot of false returns, and mm -hmm. part of the meteorologist's job is to really discern what is rainfall and, and what is not. Do your meteorologists then examine what it might be if you know it's a clear day and it's not raining and yet the radar is picking something up? No, no, we don't. So you mentioned that there's um, some of those false readings that the meteorologists look at. How come they're not looking at this one? Look, probably the only time they would ever get looked at would be in some kind of radar research project of some kind. Uh, again, it's really not our, our job, I suppose, to deconvolute uh, what all the things could be on a radar image. I mean, our job is to provide a real-time estimate of rainfall, and that's pretty well where we stop. OK. Does the department follow that up at all under EPBC purview, given uh, it's a National Heritage Site? Uh, Senator, uh, in respect of, of this particular project and its approvals, there was a condition put in place which requires the company, prior to commencement of the, the action, to have a, a pretty extensive air quality monitoring system. I know that staff from my division uh, visited the site within the last uh, several weeks, um, and they've seen that the equipment exists and is in place, and the proponent is collecting what is effectively baseline uh, data on air quality. So uh, while, the, while the bomb may have uh, their particular uh, focus on uh, weather systems, et cetera, this condition was specifically designed to deal with the question that uh, Senator Ludlam and yourself are raising. Can I just have a one follow-up on that, Mr Knudsen? The response to the question or notice that Senator Ludlam received this morning indicates that no conditions were placed on Woodside to mitigate the potential effects on the heritage values um, of these um, of these emissions. So you're saying that there's air quality monitoring, but then no conditions that would protect the site if anything was detected in that monitoring? Is that right? That seems a little strange to me. Um, the, the, the piece that I'm familiar with, Senator, is, is the air quality monitoring mm -hmm. uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. So I would have to take that second part uh, on, on notice and come back and clarify. Yeah, if you could, because it seems odd to monitor, monitor for something, detect it, and then yeah. do nothing about it. No, I understand. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Senator Waters. Back to you, Senator.